Okay, so yesterday was the 27th anniversary of the Waco massacre of the David Koresh and his group and of in that complete botchery by the Federal Reserves. So in honor of that, I thought I would talk about the five worst not, I don't know how many I'm not I actually don't know the number, but the worst government, the worst federal law enforcement agencies out there. So and to start out with, we are gonna do with the ones that screwed up the whole thing from the start. The ATF. Why is that a thing? The, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Everything in that, in your name, is legal. Everything. You can you can drink alcohol. You can smoke. You can use tobacco. You can own firearms. There's nothing illegal about that, even under the current law. So why the fuck does that exist? First one, it is the stupidest thing. Like, ATF. Alcohol, tobacco, firearms. Sounds like it should be the name of a convenience store, not a government agency. So, first one. The ones that screwed up everything up from the start. Um, the next one, we're going to go with the DEA. Why is the DEA thing? First of all, all drugs should be legal. Drugs being illegal just creates a black market for people to use them. But that's just, even with drugs, even with the war on drugs, that is... This stupid. That's just not changing the laws. Most drug enforcement is done at the state and local level. So why do we need a federal agency to go out to go do it? We don't. It should be left up to the states to do that. The DEA is the stupidest. Is shouldn't exist either. And all drugs should be legal. Um, CIA. I, I don't. It's more of a national security thing, but. All the CIA does is, like, why is the CIA thing? They, they don't protect us. The only thing the CIA does is they spy on, spy on U.S. citizens and sell weapons to terrorists. That's all they do. And start wars and overthrow regimes with rebel forces that end up being our enemies. So, no, the CIA does not need to exist. Oh, what am I, like, that's three... Um, there's going to be more than three. Um, is TSA considered law enforcement? I don't care. TSA needs to be getting rid of. Why, like, why is the federal government in charge of airline security? It should be each airline is in charge of the security of their own thing. And so, if an airline wants to have it where you get body checked and felt up, if you like that security, you can take that airline. If you don't like being... Sexually assaulted by police, law enforcement. You don't have to do that, but yeah, no, TSA, another bad one. I don't think I, I don't think they're law enforcement, but they don't need to exist either. Most of, most of them aren't qualified to operate a cash register at a fast food restaurant either. So, um, there's so many of them. Um, Department of like, yeah, let's go. Department of Homeland Security, like, ICE. I'm not saying we need to get rid of them, but they don't need to be their whole entire department. The Department of Homeland Security probably needs, just that whole department um, could be separated and part of it put into the defense, the DOJ, the other part in Department of Justice, Department of Defense and Department of, De yeah, DOJ and DOD. And just get rid of Department of Homeland Security. And, yeah, because most border is done by the states. And, yeah, like, and you can have, just have them in the Department of Justice. Just the whole Homeland Security Department can just go away. Oh, yay. We're getting really stuff. And then, let's just, so this doesn't get too long and I'm just, don't like um, FBI makes it like I let them stay, but just barely, because most, most, just law like in law enforcement investigations are done on again on the state local level. All the FBI really does is 
like it, it's a good database that people have where you can see crime statistics and from states. It's just that's all they're really good for because everything else is basically done by state and local agencies. Um. So yeah, no, let's get rid of the FBI too. Like they they screwed up. Yeah, and talk about people screwing up the. Waco, yeah, they were the other ones that made you screwed up, too. That's just what they do. They, on every, like, how many times, yeah, I, I could go into the militarization of the, just get into the militarization of the police force here, because they're not, that's not what it is, but that's, you. so many times you see them going with SWAT and just breaking down doors and just shooting people. So, yeah, like, no, let's get rid of, yeah, no, I talked myself into it. FBI's gone, too. The only federal law enforcement agency I'm keeping is the marshal services because they don't really do anything that's it that's the only reason like there's a federal fugitive that crosses a state line that's where they come in so and it's just more for coordination they're the ones in that you someone could very easily convince me to get rid of them too but they're the ones that actually serve a function that other that locals really can't do so they're the only ones that make it yeah and then just have them do the database boom have the u.s marshals handle the federal database agents with crime statistics and we get rid of fbi too oh doesn't work the world feel safer already <laughs> all right those are the those are the fe federal agencies that i would get rid of um, law enforcement agencies that I would get rid of. Um, there's a lot more other agencies that I'd get rid of, but federal law enforcement agencies I'd get rid of. Um, yeah, then, boom, that's done. Um, yeah, do you agree? Do you think we should have more, more police, federal police spending, less? Um, what do you guys think, and do you think that we should continue to mil mil militarize our police force um comment below let me know um thanks for watching um please like share and subscribe um and i'll see y'all next time